chocolate all over you. Okay. A chocolate and a strawberry. Poor Merrily. Poor Merrily what? I don't know. I don't feel sorry for her. She's all alone all the time. Well, don't. Because while you're worrying about her, she's studying. Come on. Okay, the Townsend Act. Come on, you're the one who said you wanted to win. Townsend Act, 1767. Boston Massacre? 1770. Intolerable Act? 1774. Did you leave any in the library? Oh, Natalie Kelsher already checked out the best ones. Well, I hold all incoming calls. Unless it's fire, flood, or earthquakes. Earthquake jokes are not appreciated in this state. How about dinner? Slip it under the door. Easy for you to say. Oh, was your meeting over? Yeah. How are things at the Pasadena Posies? Fine. Kate. What do you know about cookies? How to bake or how to eat? How about how to sell? Oh, posy pralines. That time has rolled around again. Yes, and there's an award given in my group for the person who sells the most cookies. But I'm a wookie of a bunch of seasoned cookie pros. Well, the first thing to remember is to be polite and smile. Hello. It's posy praline time again. May I interest you in a box? Now you try. Hi, it's Posy Praline time again. May I interest you in a box? Why, yes. In fact, I'll take a dozen. This is going to be easier than I thought. Caught by the Cookie Monster. Hi, buddy. Oh, this is Earth calling Buddy Lawrence. Do you copy? Martin Van Buren. Martin Van Buren. Hey, stranger. We missed you at dinner. Your father, in case you've forgotten. You'll see plenty of me after the competition. We both want you to know whether you win or not, we won't give your room to anyone else. What? Well, your mother is trying to say that we know you put a tremendous effort into this and we are proud of you no matter what happens. I'm gonna win. Is that important to you? Yes. Ah, well, that calls for a little strategy. Strategy? Yeah. The first thing you have to do is make your opponents think that you know more than they do. Well, I do. The only thing I'm worried about is Merrily Gallisher. Merrily Gallisher can take care of herself. You've got to psych yourself up into a winning mentality. Strategy. That's the name of the game. Isn't it funny? I thought all you needed to know were the answers to the questions. A little strategy won't hurt. Yeah. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind, Dad. I wish you could be there. Mm. I wish I could, too, but I can't get out of this meeting. Listen, I'll keep my fingers and toes crossed for you. I mean, you don't need it. I mean, you're a shoe in I wish I could be as sure as you are. Back to the books. <laughs> this is a high school competition, not the Olympics. Yeah, I know, but it's great to see Buddy so motivated. You know, I love cheering her on. Now I know who these contests are for, parents. Yeah, that's like a pat on the back for a job well done. Suppose she doesn't win. I'll pat her back. I shall win. <laughs> well, I'm a wreck. Oh, I see victory in your future. Tell that to my son. We indeed. Mom, I think I'll go in and get a couple of good seats. Yeah. There's the competition. That's Merrily Callisher. Good luck. Uh, Merrily, quickly, the first injunction against striking workers, what date? Coleman Strike 1894. That's good. The Granger laws were declared unconstitutional when? Hi, buddy. Hi. This is my mother. This is my... Kate Lawrence. Martha Callisher, how do you do? How do you do? Oh, I think we should be getting inside now. Good luck to both of you. Merrily, please remember, don't fuss with your hair. Uh, Merrily, uh, I'll see you inside. 
Marley, don't you think we ought to review the grievances against George III? Mother, I know Just this. to be on the safe Mother, side. I have to go in now. Marley. Should be an exciting afternoon. Yes, well, luckily, Marley is a top student in her history class. I have every confidence. Well, I wish she had taken some time to review the colonial grievances. She'll be fine. After all, they're not expected to know everything. Well, Marilee has been taught to expect that of herself. Excuse me. All right, Tony, you're next. Remember, you have five seconds to answer. In the late 19th century, a reform group fought corruption in political office. Name that reform group. It was the... the... Mm. Marilee uh, Kalisher, can you name that reform group? Mugwumps. That's correct. I'm sorry, Tony, and congratulations, you did very well. Thank you. Now, Buddy Lawrence. In 1850, Two senators affected passage of a bipartisan compromise. Please name both senators. Daniel Webster. And Henry Clay. Webster and Clay are correct. All right now, for the final question. Each of you two young ladies take a deep breath. And remember, whatever the outcome, you have both done splendidly and are to be congratulated. <laughs> Mary Lee Callisher, only two presidents of the United States have ever been elected by the House of Representatives. Name them. Thomas Jefferson. Um... Hayes. Rutherford B. Hayes. I'm sorry, Mary Lee. One of your uh, answers is incorrect. Letitia Lawrence, if you can answer the question correctly, you will be Quentin High School's representative to the city Watts. I'll repeat the question. Only two presidents of the United States have ever been elected by the House of Representatives. Name them. Thomas Jefferson and... John Quincy Adams. Congratulations, Letitia, you've won. You're our school representative. Congratulations. Well, you did very well today, buddy. Your family must be proud of you. Thanks. Oh, you did a grand job, Marilee. Oh, Thank you. You were wonderful. Thank you. Not as good as Buddy, then. Congratulations, Buddy. Thank you. Poor, poor kid. Oh, I don't... Day. You should. Really was a knuckle biter yesterday. I wish Dad could have been there. Well, you can fill him in tonight. Don't be late. We're having duck. Duck on a weekday. We'll see occasion. You! It's your victory celebration. Well deserved. Bye, Thank my you. dad. Bye. 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 But Prospero has decided to abjure his magic. And by the end of the Tempest, he, too, has undergone a sea change. Buddy, if I had known you were going to win yesterday, I would have been there. Oh, thanks. To control the lives of those around him. He has learned that abiding love is a stronger power. Thus, though he is much less a magician... Uh, pardon me, Ms. Higgins. I have something to say to your class. I'm sorry to interrupt. Um... Oh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, what I have to say to you is...
very disturbing. I, I, I just wish that there was some way I didn't have to tell you like this so, so abruptly. I, well, well I, I know you're mature enough to handle it, though. I, uh... Early this morning, Mary Lee Callisher died. I fear you should know that she committed suicide. request buddy what are you doing home are you sick what is it Mary Lee Callisher um killed herself oh Principal came into the class and told everyone she committed suicide. Oh, that poor child. How could such a thing happen? You know very well, and so do I. She killed herself because she lost the competition to me. And if it wasn't for me winning, she'd be alive right now. Oh, buddy. Mom, it's all my fault. She killed herself because of me. Buddy, I can't have you blaming yourself for a child's death because you beat her in a history contest. But if I wouldn't have beaten her, then she wouldn't have done it, right? There's no way anyone can answer that question. Buddy, look at me. Whatever drove Marilee to do such a terrible thing started long before she ever heard of you or the history competition. Do you believe me? I guess so. Come downstairs, help me with dinner. Could we just skip dinner tonight? Annie's out with Posy Pralines. Should we go see how she's doing? I don't really feel like it. I just want to be alone. I'll stay here with you. No, I'd much rather be alone. I understand. some customers. Well, actually, this is my second consignment. That's why it looks like I haven't sold any. Oh, that explains it, then. Well, I have a few errands to run. When I'm through, I'll stop by. If you're ready to call it a day, I'll drive you home. No, thanks. I want to be here when people start going home from work. 
kiddos who might need a dessert. Ah, yes. I'll see you later. Oh, and don't worry. I won't be late for Buddy's celebration. Well, that's been postponed. Postponed? I'll explain later. You have enough to worry about. Hello, it's Fuzzy Free Lead Time again. May I? Oh, it's posy friendly time again. May I interest you in the box? Thank you, no. But I love your outfit. Hey, wait a moment. You can have a free sample. Look. Oh. Oh, no. They're all broken. Oh, I hope they won't be angry with you. I hope not. Would you have to pay for them? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, no, that's not fair. Here, I'll buy them. You mean all these broken ones? Yes, and I'll take two more boxes. That'll be three dollars. So. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. You're welcome. What are you doing here? I came to say I'm sorry. Sorry? What for? For Mary Lee. I'm... I'm sorry. Well, that was very thoughtful of you, buddy. But unnecessary. You know, I, I hope um, that this won't uh, spoil anything for you. Spoil anything? Why, of course, your victory. My victory? You were the winner yesterday, and the victory is yours. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Buddy. No, I've been at my post. Guess what? I give up. What do you think about 146? Cookies? Nope. Dollars. You mean you made that much money since I saw you last? Uh-huh. And at this rate, I have a shoe with to win the prize. I might even outsell the whole group combined. Well, makes them really picked up. Oh, you bet. It is all in the technique, and I've discovered a surefire one. They might even need a cookie after me. Something wrong? Yes. Something terrible has happened, Annie. Marilee Callisher, classmate of Buddy's, 
has committed suicide. Oh, no. How terrible. What could make her do that? I don't know. But Buddy was awfully disturbed before. I'm worried about how she is. Buddy! Oh, Buddy, I am so sorry. What is it? It was my fault. It was because of me. Ask her mom. She knows. Got your message. I'm sorry I couldn't get here any sooner. Obviously, you're still upset. Very. At least I'll have a clean house to show for it. Oh, Doug, if you could have seen Buddy when she came in. Mrs. Callisher made her feel as if she were responsible for Merrily. Mrs. Callisher said that? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, what difference does it make? Whatever she said, Buddy's convinced it's her fault. The woman should look to herself. Honey, she must be very, very upset. You didn't see the way she treated Merrily at the competition. Fussing over her, drilling her. When the poor child lost, you didn't show her one ounce of compassion. You can't just automatically put all the blame on her mother. Merrily was obviously a very disturbed child. She did what she did for many reasons, few of which we can ever know. One of the worst things about a situation like this, the mystery. You're right. I have been jumping to conclusions. And so is Buddy. Oh, God, it's all so ghastly. Teenagers have it rough these days. They grow up so fast into such uncertainty. Adolescent suicide has almost doubled in the past 10 years. Doubled? Another thing that's ghastly is the way we expect our children to assume the burden of our expectations. What do you mean, our? I'm not exempt. You heard me the other night, pushing Buddy. Oh, Doug, there's a big difference between wanting your child to be a winner and forcing her to be one. In the pushing sweepstakes, you aren't even an entry. Come in. Willie. Hi. Hope I'm not disturbing you. No, no, come on in. You're working. Well, it's just my explorer script, you know, with the job and everything. I sort of have to sneak in as much time as I can for it. I'll come back. No, no. Hey, this is just rewrites. I got time for a break. Would you like a drink? Yes. <clears throat> What's up? Oh, this uh, business with Buddy. You know, I was thinking about you quitting school. Oh, but that's old news, Dad. I was wondering if it still bothered you. Sometimes. Well, when it does, do you blame me? Sometimes. Well, you know, I felt pressured that I had to get good grades to be a success. Is there anything wrong with that? No, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that I felt that if I couldn't, then I would have let you down. Well, why didn't you tell me to lay off? Oh, come on, Dad. I mean it. Because I suppose I liked being pushed. Showed me that you cared. I did, Willie. I do. That's what I wanted to let you know. Go back to work. Dad, why did you choose now to tell me that? Well, you know, sometimes it takes me a long time to get around to saying something. Does this have anything to do with Buddy? You could say that. In any case, I'm glad you said it now. Me too. Good night. Hi. Hi. We miss
missed you at breakfast. I wasn't hungry. <laughs> Never seems to be a problem with me. <sighs> Say, you want to give yourself a treat. You know, you really ought to go and catch Annie selling cookies. It's a riot. Do you remember when you were a posy? I helped you deliver all those cookies in your little red flyer wagon? Yeah. And then you left it in the driveway and Dad backed over it. Did I do that? We spent a week trying to get the cream wafers out of the treads. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Sorry about that. You're forgiven. You getting ready for the city watch? I was. Well, my job is making up dumb questions. You want me to ask you a few? No, I don't feel like it. Say, buddy, listen. Willie, if you're going to try to cheer me up, don't. I'm not five years old. The least you could do is let me feel rotten. You're right. I'm sorry. I, I can't tell you how to feel, but for what it's worth, I don't think you had anything to do with Marilee's death. Are you hearing me? Yes, but I don't agree with you. I thought you were going to work. I should have. I was up with Buddy. I thought maybe I could get her to talk. But I'm afraid I handled it very badly. You're not the only one. I suppose I just miss her needing me the way she used to. Don't worry. There's another candidate waiting in the wings. The cookie monster. Hi, Willie. Good morning. Annie, if you're planning on cutting school to sell cookies, just forget it. I'm not. I just want to be ready to get to my post the minute school's out. My plan is to sell at least 25 boxes. Tanya Edelman and I are tight for first place. I'd like to outsell her by at least 50. 50? That sounds a bit excessive. Well, I believe if you're going to win, win big. Well, I think I better go. Bye. Bye. Something's up. You know what? What? I hope I don't find out what it is. You were sick. I am sick of life in general, and in particular, the school. That's not funny. Here, maybe this will cheer you. Ta-da! We're going to hold it up at the city wides. What makes you so gung-ho all of a sudden? Last week, you thought the competition was stupid. Yeah, well, last week, you weren't the school rep. Besides, everybody thinks you're going to win. Even me. We're all counting on you. Well, you can stop counting because I'm not competing. I quit. You hear that, everybody? I quit. I'm not competing. Buddy. Hi, Mom. What do you mean, hi, Mom? This is the second day I spent wondering where you were. I was at school. That's no good, buddy. Miss Higgins called and said you ditched her class. And then Audrey called. She was worried about you. She said you tore up some sign she made and stormed out of school. Buddy, I'm speaking to you. I will call Audrey and I will apologize. As far as teaching school is concerned, I don't have to go anymore. I'm 16. I've passed all my requirements. I think I'll quit. What would that solve? It's the way I feel. I hoped you were mature enough to handle all this, but I was wrong. Darling, we have to talk this out. Hey, guess what? I'm certain to win the award. Tomorrow's the last day, and Tanya Edelman isn't even close. You've got to see the sales record. It is so incredible. I mean, you know, at first, I didn't even think I was going to be able to sell these things. Annie, but... I'm really not up to this now. Oh, well, wait a minute. Just take a second. Now, 16 times... Annie, later. Okay. 74 minus 23 12 for each card. Annie, I'm sorry, but I have to have my calculator back. Minus shipping and handling equals 277. Thank you. Well, no, are, are you doing your homework? No, my income tax. I figure if this keeps up, I'll have to file a separate return by the end of the year. Oh, you're doing that well, hmm? Well, that depends if my suppliers keep up their end of the bargain. 
You see, I've subcontracted 100 boxes from girls who can't move their merchandise. On a pro rider basis, of course. Of course. I might even break a cookie record. Well, that's wonderful. Where are you going? Why, I'm off to join the Pasadena Posies. It's obvious that I've chosen the wrong profession. Hey, what's cooking? Good looking? If you mean what's for dinner, I have it the foggiest. Been too worried to think about it. Is that funny? She ditched her classes and made some kind of public disturbance. When I asked her about it, she said she was thinking of dropping out of school. I know it's all about what happened to Marilee, but I just don't seem able to get through to her. Maybe if I talk to her. I'll go carefully. Maybe I can help. Isn't it a little soon to be reliving your youth? I suppose. May I ask why you are sitting in a closet? Well, I don't know. I guess Andy got me started thinking about when I was a posy. It's funny to see how important it is for her to sell the most cookies. Well, you're the same way. Selling cookies, you know, earning flowers for your uh, sash. Meant the world to you in those days. You know, I've forgotten what these all meant. Ah. Uh, well, this one was for uh, uh, carpentry. Remember that table you built for the garage? And this one, uh... Archery? Uh, they all represent achievements you were very proud of. Like the history competition. That doesn't mean anything. Well, a few days ago, you wouldn't have said that. And if I would have known a few days ago what was going to happen, Dad, I wouldn't have competed. I wouldn't even have tried to win. You couldn't know that. Why is it that people always have to compete against each other, where one wins at the other's expense? Unfortunately, that's the nature of competition. Well, then I don't want to have anything to do with it. Buddy. I could very easily con you into thinking you're never going to have to face the consequences of competition. But if you have ambitions, if you want things badly enough, you're going to have to compete for them and against other people. And hurt other people. Other people have nothing to do with it. You have to remember that. When you compete, you have to compete for yourself, for something in yourself, to do your best, to be the best possible Buddy Lawrence and to have fun. How can you talk about fun when Marilee's... Well, Marilee wasn't trying to win high school honors or a trip to Washington. Then what? That poor girl had probably been living in a pressure cooker most of her life. This history contest was just one in an endless series of contests she felt she had to win every day. People don't usually kill themselves for one failure, but because of a pervading sense of failure on every front. Particularly a failure to win love. Whose love? Her parents. Her mother's. Which is one thing you will never have to contend for. Box and uh, give me one more box. Two dollars. 
break so easily. Do you have to pay for them if they're broken? The jig is up, Annie. How many times have you pulled this number? Well, just a few. Actually, several. Annie. Several hundred. Do you know what I think about this? I can guess. But I tried your technique. Nobody even stopped. Annie, I'm disappointed in you. Why? I wanted to win. And you wanted me to win the award, didn't you? No award is worth a sou if you cheat for it. You were taking advantage of your customers. How would you like to be tricked like that? I want you to go to Posey headquarters and withdraw from the contest. Tell them you're not eligible for the award. I want you to turn in your cookies. Cookie. And I expect you home in an hour. You are, as they say, out of business. I want to remind everyone that there will be class tomorrow as usual, since we are not entering a contestant in the citywides. Now then, we were talking yesterday about the Tempest. And there is a theory that Prospero's decision to set aside his magic is really the playwright's farewell to playwriting and the stage. Would anyone care to comment on the possible reason for such a decision? Audrey. Anyone? Buddy. The Tempest was the last play that Shakespeare wrote. That's good, buddy. Go on. Before I go on, do you think I could say something to the class? It'll only take a minute. All right. As you all know, I dropped out of the competition. And if you didn't see what happened in the corridor yesterday, I'm sure you heard about it later. But that's not really what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about what happened to Mary Lee. I dropped out because I thought that what happened to Mary Lee was, um, was my fault. And in a way, it was but not in the way that I thought it was. You see, the whole time that she was sitting here in class, I never really stopped to think why she had no friends, why she didn't talk that much, or why she was nervous all the time. And then when she killed herself, I thought quitting would make everything okay for me. And then during the time that I was thinking about it, I. I had a funny feeling come over me that that was one of the reasons why Mary Lee wanted to win, was to make everything okay. And I guess that's the difference between us. Mary Lee needed to win. And I only wanted to win. And I still do. And that's why I've changed my mind. I'm going back into the competition. And I also want to to ask all of you to be there because I need all the support I can get. Decades is over the moon to present this Hallmark series. Decades present... I'm sorry, but I still think he made that question up. I mean, who ever heard of the Tidings McDuffie Act? Tidings of McDuffie? Oh, sounds like a juggling act to me. You know... As soon as he threw that question to me, I knew that was it. I knew I had no chance. It was just the same. He did very well. Darn good. Ninth out of 24, that's terrific. Hey, I'll bet you'll never forget the answer to that question. Huh? The Tidings McDuffie Act of 1934 provided for the independence of the Philippines in 1946. Now you tell me. <laughs> hey, where's Kate? A toast to buddy. Milk? It's vintage. Why milk? Because what goes with milk? Cookies? 
There was a going out of business sale. She made me an offer I couldn't refuse. 